As I got going on the head, uh, there were a few things that I hadn't mentioned before, so I figured I'll go ahead and address those now. I did some in the mouth where I deleted out these interfaces that you're never going to see anyways, and that just helps you do, make a layout a little bit easier uh, without having to do one more seam. This is the inside of the mouth. I'm not terribly concerned about the, how perfect this is uh, as far as distortion goes. I'd rather just not deal with it in terms of seams. So I just let that get a little bit more distorted in there. Um, up here on the ear, I need to cut the ear off so I can uh, um, unwrap it. And so what I'm going to want to do is select the, uh, place this uh, cut for the seam in an unlikely place uh, for you to notice. So along this back edge is better than along here. Uh, I did an in-class demo. I did along here, which was really stupid. Like this, you'll you'll see this a lot more than you'll see between this face and the face underneath here. So you always want to put uh, seams where they make the most sense, so or the the most hidden. So let me go ahead and uh, do that, and I'm going to go ahead and cut that along there, and that should give me a shell to pull out from here. So let's see what we got here. Uh, looks like it's not completely separated for some reason. Let's see. Um, to shell. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just didn't do the to shell apparently. Okay. So uh, now from here I have to make some decisions as far as um, how I want this to lay out. Uh, I think probably if I put a seam along here I should be able to do the inside of the ear and then let these pieces fold out um, sort of like around this way. Make a cut along here and this would fold up this way. Cut along here and these would fold out like this. Um, so let me go ahead and do that cut, and then I'll grab um, a UV in here, uh, go to shell, and then I should be able to unfold this. So I'll go ahead and click that, and when you see the unfold fail like this, typically this means that you haven't given it enough seams for it to actually successfully do what you've asked it to do. So you see this is smeared up pretty bad. Uh, in this case, I have the same sort of problem that I had in the mouth. I left the inside of this, the very inner ear, which I'm never going to see down anyways. I just wanted to extrude that down so that he would have uh, a hole here. Um, but we're never actually going to come in here and sort of give him the Q-tip point of view or something. So I'm just going to delete those. And with those gone, this should be a lot easier for this to lay out. So I'll just uh, run this again. Uh, still not happy. Oh, I see. There's, a, there's an overlapping face all along this edge as well. So go ahead and uh, cut this so it can open that up as well. So I'll just cut it here and this way it'll fold out this way. I do that and then tell it to unfold. Uh, so it's done exactly uh, what we wanted it to. So it should be a relatively good um, layout. All these pieces uh, fold around the edges uh, and this interfaces here, they roll out over here. Uh, so that's an easy to understand layout. Uh, do the same thing across the ears. Uh, probably just add a seam in uh, along here. It's going to be able to wrap this properly, but it couldn't wrap around here and go on top. So if I could put a seam here, that should allow that. This one's slight enough that I think we could get away with it. So I'll just try another one here. This one's pretty extreme. And this one uh, probably would be okay too. So I'm going to start without cutting it. And we'll just add two seams there um, and grab a UV, uh, go to shell over here and then unfold that. And you see it does a reasonably good job. There's some distortion happening from bending across that joint there, which uh, I would expect. Uh, but it's not too bad, uh, so I'd probably just go ahead and, and, uh, and leave it like this. I think that looks like a, a pretty good uh, start for a layout. Uh, so then I would want to take a look and see if there's any place where I could hook this up where it was clear, you know, this piece um, is connected to um, this piece. This is the inner part of the ear. You don't have to do this. I mean, you can let them sort of spread out wherever um, in your layout, um, but if you can keep them together, oftentimes it just makes things a little bit easier. Um, so let me try over here, see if that looks like that could work out. So I'll just sort of move it over here. Uh, this is what I just had selected. It looks like they're scaled pretty much the same. Uh, and it looks like if this were to rotate around a little bit more, you'll get to see how much distortion you would add across that edge. It looks like this one may be scaled up very slightly comparatively. So something like that looks like a, a slightly better fit. Uh, and this one looks like it could be se seamed up as well. Again, you don't have to do this. Sometimes it's uh, useful to have um, 
smaller pieces in a UV layout. That way you can stash things around wherever. But uh, oftentimes it's better to, to have a, a good sense of how things are connected. Uh, this is a quirky looking shell, um, but I'll understand from this that this is the inside of the ear, and then uh, I'll understand how this rolls around based on that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this here, and if I run into something else, I'll continue recording. Um, otherwise, I'll just move on to layout. So here's another variation uh, in class exactly. So uh, I went over in class, I, I split this thing up, I cut the nose off and stuff like that. I'll show you another way to work on this stuff um, the, so that you don't have to necessarily cut the nose off. You can allow some distortion to happen in these areas. Uh, if it's within your tolerances, then it makes it much easier to paint. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the top of the head here. I'm just start from this seam, uh, make, a, make a cut there, and then just cut uh, from this ear, maybe this corner here, around to the back of the head, something like this. And I'll plan on cutting this off into its own piece and sewing it um, on. And that will allow this, all of this stuff to sort of unfold this way uh, out and around. And I'll probably have some pretty significant distortion right here, so I could cut that. Um, but I'm just going to see what happens, just doing what I did, just cutting off the top. Um, just grab this um, and try to unfold it. So I'll try and unfold. It gets a little smaller, which means probably it's not really able to do it quite right. I'm going to go ahead and scale this up um, just so I can see the resolution of the squares a little better. I can see my distortion a little bit clearer. I'll go ahead and do this. So it's, uh, it's not awful. Again, there's definitely some distortion through this thing. Uh, and around the nose, it did a pretty good job. Not bad. So with way less seams, this looks a lot better. The one place that I have a little business to deal with is right here inside the mouth. So uh, the top and the bottom are overlapping each other, and I don't want that. I don't ever want it to have it where if I paint something on the bottom of the lip, it appears on the top lip, uh, which is what would happen with overlap. So what I want to do here is open this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select out this little subset uh, of UVs uh, over here and then I'm gonna relax this into a pattern that makes uh, makes it a little easier for me to open up this mouth. Um, so I want to grab the relax tool um, I can't remember what that icon looks like um, smooth, oh it's, that's why it's called smooth UVs and then you use the relax mode by clicking and dragging on relax see it relaxes those out, which is actually introducing a good deal of distortion through here, but it's going to allow me to open this up a little bit, and then I can go back and forth with uh, unfold to try to get a good balance. So what I'm going to want to do here is just sort of manually um, grab these UVs and uh, pull them up, on the bottom lip one, pull them down, and just want to get them separated out a little bit. And then I'll go back, like I said, with the unfold tool and clean this up a little bit further. So I just want to try to make this uh, make some sense. They can get cl they can be close together, um, and this is the inner lip, which I'm not really seeing very clearly anyway. So I'm not terribly concerned about that right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Um, maybe I'll grab this swatch again here. Go to the smooth tool, and this time run up unfold a little bit. So unfold will go through here and try to clean up um, those UVs around here. Uh, obviously I'm adding a bit of distortion in here. Um, the chin here looks pretty bad. Uh, but the rest of this stuff, it actually did a better job. These look relatively cleaned up comparatively uh, to what they were just looking like. So um, I think we're alright. Um, I'll go ahead and do a little bit of tweaking over here and maybe just distribute some of this uh, distortion instead of just holding it all in this uh, face here sort of distribute that up a little bit as well so I'll let that uh, distort up a little bit and then I'll let it uh, push that distortion down to the faces around it a little bit too so just sort of spread that distortion out so it's not quite as noticeable in this one face so this way uh, this face looks a little better this face looks a little worse this face looks a little worse but together I think they're uh, they're pretty reasonable so this looks like it's going to work out fine. Um, 
in around the eye. It actually did a pretty good job. I don't see any kind of uh, overlap here. If I had extruded it one more time, I'd probably see a good bit of over overlap. But that's another uh, very reasonable way uh, to do a face layout. Again, it's uh, it's easier to understand this when I look at this in uh, in Photoshop. And when I add the other side, I might even seam these up across the middle and do another unfold, um, and that would give me you know a nice, um, very uh, obvious face. Um, shell to work on that way it's very clear what you're doing when you're painting in Photoshop Photoshop excuse me find anything else I'll uh, I'll record some more otherwise I am going to go to the layout